Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2005 Chase of the Cup Crew Part 70. We got more of the same in the Cup Series. We got Watkins Glen, Michigan, and then Bristol, I think. I'm not sure, but definitely those two I am certain on. So, point standings, obviously, we're still good. Or we can honestly skip the, the rest of the regular season and still make the chase at this point. So, yeah, we're, we're good, but it's kind of looking around like 9th to uh, 12th. Kind of like the closest, or even eighth, twelfth. I, I guess I can still sort of shake up, but yeah, that's um, that's really all for now. So I guess I can think it's still changed back there, but I don't know. But either way, we're gonna go into Watkins Glen. Hopefully, we'll get the pole and just kind of, you know, just cruise away and have a very uh, relaxing race for my own ego's sake. All right, another pole, and that was a 108.8. That's pretty damn good, and we got that by about. About a 1.8 seconds, I think, over Jimmy, so that's good. Hopefully, we can replicate that in the race. Here we go. Um, say it with me, like usual, a default setup, even the wedge at zero. So, now, our next big obstacle is to not have a shit show, kind of like how Infineon is. Because, for some reason, I just can't do well at road courses. Like, I just have no luck, or just things go very wrong. So, I'm going to try to take it easy in turn one. And that was actually pretty good. All right, well, um, it was a little scary, but, um, well, I guess I'll see you later, field. And I got damage to the right side of the car. Well, that's a sign of bad things to come. We know the trends, and that's usually not a good trend. I'll pit this lap, and we're just checked out from the field. I don't know if that's six seconds legitimately or some pitted already, but, um, that's still a pretty damn good lead, irregardless. So, we're going to pit here for tires and fuel and all the usual stuff. And just hope we kind of cycle back out into lead. And as long as the picker don't have like a 25 second pit stop, I think we should be able to win this without really much of a problem. And we're not even going to make adjustments because I'm that confident in the car. That's a 15 0, so, I mean, picker, we're on it. Now we just got to wait for the solid cycle out, and, and I think we'll be fine. All right, well. Took them a little bit to pit, but they finally have, and it, yeah, there we go. We got the lead without really much problem, as I kind of botched turn one a little bit, but it doesn't matter. We have a 652 second lead, or 10 seconds. Well, that's still that's still that, oh my god, the lead's even better better than I thought. That's that's disgusting. My flag. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. This has actually been a pretty tame Watkins Glen race of sorts. It's just. I mean, not a whole lot's happened. I've almost died twice in the first corner, but that's really about it. I have that to another win this season, and I don't even know what to say. I guess we'll just look at the laps led. I'm sure we led the most, but... Yeah, that was all. I don't even know what to... I got nothing. Okay, we led four out of the seven, and that's five, six. I think... Who else led another lap, then? Okay, it was uh, Dave Dunn. I guess that's his name, but... Well, uh... Oh, uh... D Greg, Greg Hicks 6? A good, good run for him. But, yeah, let's just move on to Michigan, where I'm sure it will be a lot better than this. We'll see who's kind of in the top 10 at the moment. Actually, Gordon moved up two spots. I think he was 10th. 10th. So, Kurt Busch dropped some. Rusty Walls, I think, gained some. So, Rusty's about 63 points back from Rusty, I think. And then another, like, 80 two was Dale Jarrett so yeah it just always constantly keeps kind of shifting around here so I guess it'll be interesting to see who makes it but anyways on to Michigan we kind of got screwed there last time so I'm hoping we can redeem ourselves our pit crew just needs to not have like an 18 second bit stop and then I think we could probably win I don't know but I'd like to redeem myself from that well another poll but by how much is the question barely well, not even a tenth so um yeah, it's going to be a tough one. This is going to be a fun one. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. This should be probably the most competitive one in this part. So obviously the same stuff as usual. We'll just jump right into it. I think we'll probably have the lead for a couple laps, and then we'll probably struggle. Again, I just kind of want to put myself in position, just like the first Michigan race. So it seems like Newman, I'm assuming, is going to be the, the dominant car this race instead of Jimmy. Yeah, we actually got to a good start. And... Wait till we get off turn two because I know the car's gonna have a. Oh, I almost died. I almost died. 
Okay, there we go. Now we got a monster run, and now I'll, see, I'll, I'll just try to hang on. There's Newman to my inside. It's almost happened. We're you know, about to get by me, but I think we're going to get straightaway speed enough to kind of clear him here. And we do. Barely, but we clear him. So thankfully we'll be pitting next time by, and the car's definitely kind of falling off now. I can't really grip the bottom one. And, wow, that thing just stepped out. Good God. But yeah, it's... uh. Like, I was going to say, it was not bad at 1-2, but 3-4 and four was just terrible. No matter how I approached it, I just always slid up the track, so... I don't know. Like, that was me trying to slow down a lot, and I still drifted up the track. Thankfully, uh, we got straight waste speed, so that kind of saves us a little bit. And we can kind of share draft, and it can kind of help. I should have kept in it longer, but... Yeah, we're going to pit, and we'll just slap, and... We're setting ourselves up in good position. That That is what I wanted to do, and I delivered on that. Now, my pit crew just needs to kind of do the same for me. Whoa, Kenseth, my god. I think that was me, but it was certainly scary. Alright, Kenseth, are you going to pit or... God damn it. Alright, four tires and fuel... Almost the same shit with me and Kane that one year. So up the wedge, lower the tire pressures, and we'll go from there. I don't, I don't know. Um, and that's a 15 flat. Good job, pit crew. They were on it. I can't even get mad. They did exactly what they're supposed to. So now we'll just kind of see how this car handles and if we can get the lead back. I just don't know what it's capable of or if we can run down Newman. Not sure. We're more than likely going to be cycling out P2 when this is all done. I don't really know why Stewart's staying out for so long, but... I mean, I'm not complaining, I'm just confused. But we caught up to Newman, which is good. I don't know why I'm trying to pass him on the outside. I don't know why I doored him. But that was, like, no reason for that. Why am I doing it again? Why? He's, he's done, he, for once, he's done nothing wrong to me, and I just... just I'm a big, fat, freaking Campbell's suit. What does that mean? Oh my god. Well, we're trying to get by him still. Why am I trying this on the outside? I don't know. This is just, just stupid. I need to get back down low. There we go. That's, that's, see, that's what I should have done before. I don't know why I did. I think Stuart leads that lap barely. But we're going to cycle back out into first or second. Now, what I want to have happen is to clear... Well, that's what I want. I wanted to clear Newman, but not in that way. And try to pull away. Because, I mean, I had about a half a second lead. And then he caught me, so... Yeah, this is not really turning out the way I wanted. Why am I trying the outside again? Like, what's wrong with me? Like, I got such a run, and then it just, just went away. Ooh, that was actually kind of brilliant. I had enough of a run on the outside to kind of chop it down low, and enough to not hit him. But I just can't get by him. And that's a big problem. And I can kind of hold my own in 1 and 2, but 3 and 4 is just so bad, I need the whole track. Kind of like in 1 and 2, that's kind of like a reenactment of what I would do in 3 and 4. Oh god, he's still there! Oh! Son of a bitch. My flag's out. And it's just me and Newman right now, and... I'm confident in 1 and 2, but 3 and 4, I'm just worried about. Because that thing just, it doesn't like, does not like to stick in the bottom, no matter how I approach it. Oh, he tried. He's... <laughs> Newman's trying. I gotta get him up to the high side. I can't have him have that low of an angle because I need all the race room to keep that car to the bottom. And... Oh my god, I got the corner, but then at the same time... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we're gonna have stri... Really? Is that how we're gonna lose this again? Draft, please? Anything? I finally was able to make the bottom work, and it cost me the win. I can't, I can't get a break with this game. It's, just, it's always something fucking weird. That was, that was a pretty bad choke. I'm not proud of that one. I led the most laps, so that's me and Newman led 12 out of 16, and Ray Parker fourth, so that's cool. Kenseth, who I kind of screwed on the pit stop, led a lap. So, um, so who led the other 
Okay, it was uh, Tony Stewart. Well, yeah, that was... Uh, of course, I had to lose it to the person that won a championship last year. That just it, like it can't just get any more like insulting to my to my being. And I had every opportunity to win that. I accidentally got into him. Well, I gained like three tenths from that. And I still choked it away. Like I, only I can manage to pull off these dumb feats. I never really showed the uh, bush standings, but Tai Sheets is leading it, dominating. I don't know how many wins he has. I think it's over six at this point. But yeah, he's, he's doing good. So here's the points. Um, definitely, I mean, obviously, Newman gained on me. But he's 8th in the points this year. Kind of on the danger zone of being out, sort of. Kurt Busch is uh, in. Rusty Wallace, I think, is now out. So yeah, it's constantly kind of shifting a little bit. So, interesting. Bobby Labonte, 7th, too, is pretty... Yeah, he's usually not great in this game, but... Enough people retire, and he's finally in the top 10 in points. All right, let's just get Bristol over with. I'm hoping it goes well, but spring race didn't really help, so I don't, I don't know. Well, add that to another poll in the season—a 15-1. I probably got, I could have gotten a couple tenths quicker, barely got it, but we should be good in the race. I just have to remember the spring race. I was going too fast in the corners. I think that was the problem. This time, I learned from that mistake, and I'm hoping I can implement that into the race itself and not uh, choke it away or have a better chance to win. I guess. Well, um. It's default. Uh, I did change the wedge because that one, probably for good reason, but I already explained why I do that. So we just need to have the get. We need to get the lead, have a car length, uh, maintain that. Try to pit around maybe lap 21, just because I know that caution glitch could still kind of happen here. And are we good? No, not yet. Okay, now we're good. Okay, okay, now we're extra good. Just run away. I hate this car. It's so bad. I came and describe it. Going in the corners, it's like I'm turning right to go left. It's basically what this car is doing now. Go in the corner, and half the time I don't know where the hell it's going to go. Amazingly, it's held on good enough to keep the lead. I can't wait to pit, make my adjustments. I would like to pit sooner, but I, I can't trust the game bringing out that weird caution glitch like it did in Thunder before, so I'm just kind of riding this out as long as I can, and I lost the lead. So, um, it sucks. So I'll pit this lap. Doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. I stayed out long enough, so it shouldn't hurt me. And I hit the outside wall, and I lose more time. So goodbye to my race win. So that's wonderful. I just want to get back to the it's side. I didn't. Okay, I didn't get hit. All right, pause. Make my adjustments. Uh, up and lower that, and that should be good. That's a. 4 or 15 flat, so again, pit crew doing what they need to to get good finishes, so I appreciate that, but I just think I'm too far back. Newman's out. He, is he seriously over 6 seconds in front of me? Really? How? We pit at the same time, and yet I'm that far back. Wow, my rate, it's over. Like, there's no way I can win now. I guess Rusty was for position. Is Ricky Rudd for? No, he's a lap down. Okay. No, he is for position. Okay, never mind. Good news is Newman is not leading by as much as he used to. I think lap traffic's holding him up a lot. He's lost about probably two seconds. Okay, I guess well. Never fucking mind. There goes our race. God damn. I, like the opportunity was there, and I just fucking threw it out the window. And my car. And why is the game put me in fourth gear for the fucking start? Give me a break. Like, I, he was m mired in lap traffic just so much. Like, I had it in, at, at least a chance. I was only two and a half seconds back, and I, like, I had it, I had it a possibility. I don't even think I hit him, but I guess I did. I, I don't know. Well, I don't know what this car is capable of, because now I have a lot of tire wear, and I just doored Stewart for no good reason. A couple laps left to go. Trying to make the pass on Sadler. I don't know if the car's even going to be able to stick the bottom. It kind of did. I guess I'll take the spot. Like, I don't even know how to explain how just bad it drives. Like, going in the corner, I don't know if it's going to spin out. I'm not, I hit the brakes one time, it drifts. The other time, it doesn't. Then another time, it just goes straight. It's like three different possibilities. That's like a 33.35 or 25, I don't know, a lot of 33% chances of just of it not going right. 
and I don't know. I'm, I'm pissed. I'm, I just can't believe I lost so much time on the pit stops, and Newman didn't, even though we qualified first and second, so he should have, like, the pit stall beside me, but no, fuck it, he's just on a different side of the track where probably didn't get any bit held up like I did, I would imagine. So, uh, yeah, I just gave everybody wins today, like, it was three, not three different winners, but I just threw away two races in a row where I probably should have won. Oh, my God. Newman led the most laps. Barely, but he led the most laps. And Baker got third. I thought I saw the 77 car. Was it not, or... I thought it was. I don't know what car I was seeing in front of me, but... I don't know. Rusty 39 to... I'm just frustrated. I'm, I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad. I just... If I lose the championship again, I'm going to lose my fucking mind this year. Well, we're almost done with the regular season. I think we have like two more races now, I think. So Newman with this, I don't know how many wins he has this season, but he's definitely gone back to back. Now he's fifth. So he was eighth at one point, so that points battle for fifth to eighth has got to be, yeah, it's pretty close. And Rusty Wallace now got himself back into the top 10. Kurt Busch about 30, actually 25 points out, I believe. And Elliot Sadler's pretty far back, though he did finish well, so I think he closed in. The Russell, Russell Jackson, 13th, that's actually not too bad. Jeff Burton, Ricky Rudd, Walter, Ray Parker. What about Barker? I don't, I don't know where he's at, but I guess he... A Baker, whatever, it's... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Parker and Baker, not too far away from each other. We actually have enough time for one more race. I thought that wouldn't be the case, but I was wrong. So, we'll get into California. So, um, I think we could probably get a top ten there. Or maybe, I don't, I don't know, but... Um, yeah, I'll just get through it, and hopefully, you know, we can uh, not wreck and just have a very uh, clean race. We're going to pull in the season. That's like our 22nd or 21st. I don't know. It's, it's a lot. It's over 20. And we got it by over 410. So, race pace speed. Looking good so far. Car set up as usual, default. Um, we'll just see how we do on the start, because that's kind of a big key factor. As long as we just have a car link. Then we can lead for probably about half of our fuel run and then maybe fall back for the second half. I'm not sure, but just assuming. And we don't really get out to a good start, so that's already concerning. Why is he going to get through turn one? And keep the car on the bottom. Newman, please don't poke your nose in there. Thank you. Newman's being a big thorn in my side this part. I, I don't really like that. Okay, we got a good run. She means going to block me basically off the track. We got the got the lane, and the car stick through the corners enough to get the lead back. We do. All right. Well, uh, let's try to pull away. A little bit past halfway through the fuel run, and amazingly, we're still holding on to the lead, and I think we're pulling away even you know, still, which is really impressive for this car. So, um, damn. I don't know. I mean, it's nighttime, so maybe the car is grippier than I like to think. Maybe the game has that, but I don't know. But. It's, it's looking good so far. We just gotta hang on still. Oh my god, Jimmy Johnson. What a move! Well, there goes my lead. And this is why I like to emphasize why I like, why, you know, I want to haul ass and gain as much as I can because of shit like that. Because the pack is still pretty tightly together. So if I lose the lead, it's not just me losing, you know, first. It's like four other spots at times, so. Thankfully, we're pinned this lap. The car is just turned into shit like usual. And doesn't like to turn. So, I'm looking forward to that. At least the car kind of stuck to the bottom, unlike last time. And this is a big undercut. My god, it was really aggressive. Okay. Four tires. Uh, up the wedge. Lower the tire pressures. And this might be the winning call. I mean, that was a, that was a really good undercut on the field there. And that's a 15 flat. So, again... For what feels like the third race in a row, the picker are on it. They did exactly what they need to for their lap times and everything. And now we'll just kind of have to see where we cycle out. I'm hoping we get the lead and all that good stuff. Okay, we have Jimmy Johnson leaving pit road first. And we're going to cycle out in front of him by... And definitely a good bit, which is nice. We had about a second on him before they caught me, so... That gap needs to be bigger than that to even have a chance to win. And right now, I don't know if I can pull that off. Okay, this is actually perfect. 
So we're at 1.5. That's a bigger lead than what we had in the first half of the race. So it's all looking good so far. Now it just comes down to how bad the, the car is going to, you know, suck and, and fall off, which usually happens. But I'm just worried about that because I just don't know. Damn. 2.3 seconds. My God. It's... We checked out. I didn't think it would be that great, but I was wrong. Okay, now if we lose this race, I'm totally going to be depressed because we had a two and a half second lead and then we'll blow it. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen because I'm going to be very upset. Point flags out and we have lost a little bit of time in a second, about three tenths, but nothing too crazy. And obviously we have a lead now to, you know, you can certainly give some away and not hurt too much. So. Yeah, this worked out really well. I don't remember how the spring race went, but um, this this has to be a lot better, I would imagine. So uh, I'm kind of surprised. I really didn't expect to win here. I thought it would be kind of, you know, struggling to get a top ten maybe, but I was uh, I was wrong. So off turn four, we're gonna win. Pretty uh, pretty good stats for this part. What first and then second, second or third or fourth and then no. Well, I can't, I got, I got nothing to say, that went, like, really freaking well. Laps led for the race. Um, we led 17 out of 20, Johnson led 2, and the other one, oh, okay, it was Labani. And Labani got more points, so he's, I think he's going to make the chase. I don't know if he, I don't think he's going to win, but I'm low-key hoping Bobby Labani gets, like, a top 5 in the overall season by the end of all this. Why? Why is somebody mad after that one? Who are you? I guess that's Pete Nelson, but man, what a freaking chubby neck or face of <laughs> that chubby neck one a face okay i was right it was pete nelson but man what a just just pathetic person weeks after that incident and he has to ugh, such a waste of life so next part we begin the chase so that's cool and my god our points are just disgusting if we lose a championship again this year i'm gonna be really pissed off because i feel like we deserve it i mean our Stats pretty much show we should. <laughs> we should. So, uh, Rusty Wallace is in the chase right now. Nine points over Kurt Busch, so it's still not over. And Gore can still massively choke and lose all of that spot. So, it's still possible. And then that's pretty much it. So, it's really between Gore and Wallace and Kurt to make it. I think Harvick's going to be good as well as Kenseth. The Labonis, I'm, I'm, Labani, I'm sure, is good too, so... Um, yeah, well, I, I guess this will properly end this part, so I guess let's uh, wrap everything up like I should have uh, originally, but I couldn't because I didn't get to my 20-minute quota. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, Adele Reynolds, Willow Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave Hunter, Champ 15, Alan Gray, Robert Dillon, NASCARNumberSite.org, Billy Harris, Sean Hamill, and more sports games for a donation again. I just want to say how much I appreciate you guys each and every single month for your support. It just means a lot, and it goes a ways, and I don't know what will be the... The, the YouTube stuffs, some any day, I don't know, <laughs> but uh, you guys helped us go away, so I appreciate it. I'll see you all next part for the end of the regular season and the beginning of the chase. So we have Richmond, which I'm almost certain will uh, either win or get very close to it, and then New Hampshire, which will dominate, and then we'll suck at Dover. So it's going to be a big Richter scale bar graph of good, really good, and then really bad, I guess, so, that's kind of where I expect it to go, so, um, yeah, um, I'll see you all next part, and I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.